I'm Addison Freeman. I play music with Amanda. Let's learn English together. Hi everybody! Bienvenidos, bienvenue, benvenuti. Welcome, Amanda here. Today we're going to talk about word emphasis. Word emphasis is when you put a different stress or accent on a word in a sentence. It's important because in English, if you stress the wrong word in a sentence, it can change the meaning of the sentence completely. Let's take a look at this clip from the TV show Seinfeld. Elaine is invited to a party and Jerry wants to know if he's invited too, but he doesn't want to ask the host directly in case the host says no. Instead, Elaine tries to see if Jerry is invited by asking the host should Jerry bring anything? According to Elaine, the host responds, Why would Jerry bring anything? Jerry tells Elaine, however, that the meaning of this statement changes depending on which word of the sentence is emphasized or stressed. Word emphasis. If the word Jerry is stressed, why would Jerry bring anything? Then it's clear that he is not invited. If the word bring is stressed, why would Jerry bring anything? It means the host does not expect Jerry to bring anything when he comes. In this case, it would mean he is invited. Well, I talked to Tim Watley. Yeah? And I asked him, should Jerry bring anything? Subtle. Mm -hmm. And he said, why would Jerry bring anything? All right, but let me ask you this question. What, what? Which word did he emphasize? Did he say, why would Jerry bring anything? Or, why would Jerry bring anything? Did he emphasize Jerry or bring? I think he emphasized wood. Here's another classic example of how word emphasis can change the meaning of a statement. The sentence, let's eat, Grandma, has a comma after eat which means we emphasize or stress the word eat. If we put the accent or the stress on the word eat, it sounds like this. Let's eat, grandma. It sounds like you're calling your grandma to eat. If you put the accent or stress on the word grandma, however, it sounds like this. Let's eat grandma, which sounds like you want to eat your grandma, and that's not good. I'm going to play a song for you that shows how to emphasize different words in a sentence. The song is called Have You Ever Seen the Rain by the famous 1960s band Creedence Clearwater Revival. When I play this song, the words with the stresses or the emphasis will be capitalized. For example, Someone told me long ago there's a calm before the storm. Let's see how this song uses word emphasis to portray a meaning. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm I know it's been coming for some time When it's over, so they say It'll rain a sunny day Well, I know Shining down like water Cold and rain 
is hard, I know Been that way for all my time Till forever on it goes Through the circle fast and slow, I know It can't stop, I wonder Today we learned about word emphasis and the funny situations that can happen if we do not stress or emphasize the correct words in a sentence. Then we sang the song, Have You Ever Seen the Rain, in which many words are stretched or elongated to show that they are being emphasized. I am Amanda Pascali and thanks for watching. Ciao, adios, adieu, and see you next time.